Okay, so I'm back. As you can see, I've started to do the reroute, um, and I did. I, I went ahead and I finished the holes all the way around. And John, if you'll zoom in a little bit. I finished the holes all the way through here and all the way here. So a lot of you wanted to know what the crochet method is, so I'm going to show you. Okay, first of all, this is a doll needle, and I took heavy wire colors and I went at an angle and I cut just the tip off. You want the thicker needle because you need it to be strong and sturdy and then I put it in a vice grip to keep it strong and sturdy so it won't come out. All right. <clears throat> so then you're going to take your yarn you can zoom out for a second and take your yarn and I'm going to just trim off my ends here because we don't want this stuff hanging out at the end. Hold it so I can get it kind of even. Right there. And then I twist the yarn a little bit like this in my hands. Hold it between my two fingers really tight. And I'm putting it between the needles just like this. Alright, and then you're just going to take these two fingers and kind of hold it like that. Just to secure it. Keep it a little tight. And then you're going to put it through your hole. And then you can let go and then while you're pulling it out twist it's important to do that because if you don't um, you'll get part of the yarn will get stuck in the hole and you won't have your loop now if you look you see your two loops can you see Do I need to move the light? No, stop. Mm, you can see it. Okay. All right. All right, so this is what you're going to do next. You're going to have to get like on top okay. so they can see. All right, so I have two different type of crochet needles. I've got a very small, thin one. And I think this is a... I don't know if this is a three. I can't remember what the size this is. It's bent though. I need to give me a new one. And then I just got, this is basically just a holding device. So what I want to do is, this is the new one. This is the previous hole. I'm going to put this loop through this loop and hold it and then pull on this. And I'll show you how I'm doing that, okay? So this dark blue right here is the previous loop. This loop right here is the new loop. Okay, so I'm going to take my needle and put it to the previous loop, put it on top of the new loop, and I may need, you may need to make this loop a little bigger at first. Just takes a little bit of finagling a little bit. Of course, it's harder to do it with trying to videotape it too. Makes it a little harder because kind of getting in my way of view. All right. Now I'm going to take this just to help me out. There we go. And I'm going to pull the new loop through. All right, now you see how I've got the new loop inside of the old loop. Are they able to see that? It's not too dark? No. Nope. You sure? No. Nope. It looks dark to me, but then again, I'm looking at it at an angle. All right, now, I'm gonna pull this, this thin needle out because I want the thicker one because it's stronger. And I'm gonna make sure that my needle is getting all of the thread so that I don't accidentally mess up my yarn. My finger is holding it tight against the head. I'm flipping it over. This is the new yarn. 
This is from the previous loop. And you want to pull gently from as close to the base as you can. You're just going to pull gently. And you can see they're crochet. I'm going to do one more, guys, with you. Have my husband continue to, to videotape. Hang on, Zayden. One more for y'all. <clears throat> go ahead, bud. Go to the bathroom. He'll be with that right there in just a second. All right. I'm going to cut my ends. twist so I can get the yarn tight and I'm going to put through the two prongs just like that and I'm going to hold it like this put it through the hole gently don't do it too hard and then pull out I gotta fix this a little bit because I didn't twist it enough. All right, so there's the new loop. There's the previous loop. All right, you see that? Do I need to put the head towards you more? I'm good. Okay. So now I'm just going to hold it with my finger, keeping it tight. And I'm going to flip the head over. Here's the yarn from the new loop. 